When you're going to make a measurement, the first thing you want to do is look at your measuring instrument and then you're going to look at all the markings on there and decide what the markings are. Okay, then your measurement will be between two markings, so you're going to add one more digit to your measurement, and that's your estimate. Every measurement, remember that has a unit like centimeters or it's going to have milliliters, something like that. And if it comes up, then you have all your certain digits based on the markings, one estimated digit, where you have to do that, and then those together are the significant digits. Let's look at some examples. So in this first one, you look here and say, okay, uh, there's 300, there's 400, and the little markings, each one of them represents 10. So that's 310, 320, 330, 340, 350 at this big line. And remember, if we're looking at liquids, you know, especially water, water will kind of go up the sides a little bit. So we read it at the bottom of the meniscus. And if everybody agrees to do that, it's more consistent. So we can see we're somewhere between 340. There's a line for 340 and there's a line for 350. So we have to estimate. And so it looks like it's closer to 350. So I'm going to say my measurement here is something like 340. Oh, I'm going to say 8. And this is milliliters. So that would be my measurement, 348 milliliters. You might say 347, 349, that's fine. On our second example down here, okay, we can see there's markings. Here's 5, and that's 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, 5.4. So there's a marking for 5.4, there's a marking for 5.5. It's somewhere in between, and I'm going to say it looks closer to 5.5, so I'm going to say it's 5.47 and centimeters. So that would be my measurement for this one. Okay, so you go ahead and practice. So try these three, okay, pause it, and then I'll come back, and we have three more after this. Okay, this first one, there's a marking for 15 and 16, so I'm going to say this is 15.9 centimeters. And you might say 16.0, it depends on where you think that point of that pencil is. Okay, for here, on the penny, we have a line for... Uh, Looks like one, okay, between one and two, looks like 1.9, between 1.9 and 2.0. So we're going to go one more place, and I would say that that's 1.94 centimeters. And down here, we know it's between zero and it's one, and to me it looks like about half, so I can say this is a 0 0.5 centimeters, okay. This guy has three significant figures, two that I'm sure of, plus one more. This has three significant figures. I'm sure of the 15. I'm estimating the 0.9. And this one only has an estimated digit. So one significant figure, three significant figures, and three significant figures. Okay, try these next ones. Pause it. We'll go over the answers. Okay, this first one, there's a line for 6 and there's a line for 7, but there's also a line for 7.1 and 7.2 and 7.3. So there's a line for 7.0, there's a line for 7.1, and I think it's right on that 7, so I'm going to say that 7.00 milliliters. So when it's right on the marking, that's a you've got to be careful. And keep in mind that everybody on that um on that same measuring device, you're going to have the same um, number of decimal points. So anything I would did on here would be two decimal points. Okay, this one here, okay, we have a line for 20, 30, and you can see all the lines. So 20.1, 0.2, no, 21, 22, 23, 24. So this looks like it's between 29 and 28. So my uh, measurement's going to be 28.5 degrees Celsius. Now this is exactly the same um, measuring instrument, so I'm still going to have a decimal point, and it looks like it's right on the 30, so I'm going to say that's 30.0 degrees Celsius. And those are measurements.